Hey everybody, in this topic, I'm gonna show you how we can create, alter, and drop a database. What is a database exactly? Think of it as a folder. It acts as a container. Tables, on the other hand, would be the files found within the folder. In this topic, I'm gonna show you how we can create the database itself, but we won't be working with any tables until the next topic. We'll need to begin by heading to our query window, which is this large window right here. We're going to write a statement. To create a database, we will type create. There is no case sensitivity in MySQL. These keywords, such as create, they can be all uppercase, just the first letter could be capital, or you could do all lowercase. With the keywords, I like to make them all uppercase, but that's just me. Create database, and then we'll need a unique database name. What about my DB? Then it's important with all SQL statements to end each statement with a semicolon. It's like the period at the end of a sentence. That's how we know that the statement is complete. So you'll need these three words, create, database, then a database name. We just named our database MyDB. Hit this lightning bolt button to execute this statement. And in my output window, unfortunately I can't increase the font size, but I can zoom in. This action was successful. We have created database MyDB. If you head to your schemas tab, then hit the refresh button, you should see a database in here named MyDB. There's also a database for Sys. Sys is the internal database that MySQL uses. We'll want to be sure that we're using the database that we just created. To use a database, we can either right click on the database, then click on set as default schema, or you could use a statement. Use, then the name of the database, MyDB, semicolon. Execute this statement. We are now using my database. To drop a database, type drop database, then the name of the database. And our database is gone. Uh, unfortunately, we do need a database for this series, so let's go ahead and recreate our database. Create database MyDB. Refresh. Then just to be sure we're using this database, we can either use that keyword use, or you can right click on the database and set as default schema. All right, so we can create, use, and drop a database. How about alter? There's two features for beginners I'll mention, setting a database to read only. The other is enabling encryption. Let's set our database to be read only. Type alter database the name of the database, read only equals one. This statement would make our database read only. If a database is in read only mode, we can't make any modifications to it, but we can still access the data within. Let's attempt to drop our database. Drop database my DB. Uh, then we have a red X right here. That means we could not complete this action. Drop database MyDB. Schema MyDB is in read-only mode. To disable read-only mode, you would set read-only equal to zero. Now we would be able to drop this database. You... All right, everybody, that is how to create, use, drop, and alter a database. Think of a database as just a folder. A folder can hold files. The files will be the tables that we'll create, which we'll store within the database. And in the next topic, I'll show you how we can create some tables.